While teachers unions celebrated a victory on issue two, many teachers were disappointed by the school levy results. Many school tax issues requesting new money across the state, they went down to defeat. The renewals did much better. Here in central Ohio, voters rejected levies in Dublin, Westerville, Groveport, Madison. Those all lost. Hilliard's levy is losing, but it's subject to a recount. Canal Winchester was the only winner here in central Ohio. Julie Carsmythe, why the seemingly disconnect? We support the teachers and police and firefighter, but we're not going to support new taxes. Well, for one thing, uh, Senate Bill 5 did impact teachers greatly, and a lot of their money went to win that campaign. However, you notice they were not featured in, in the campaign. Not prominently, at least. Prominently, and part of that was that they uh, are part of the the problem in terms of uh, in terms of this dialogue. Uh, they're the ones that uh, are not promoted by senior or, or are promoted by seniority, have the step increases, have the so-called summers off and that kind of thing. And those are, I'm just saying talking points. Yeah. I'm not, uh, you know, you would have to debate the, but I think that people like their individual kids teacher, they know their school, they love their own school district, and then at times they uh, don't like what they think of as the big union teacher issue. But while uh, most of the new school levies uh, failed, uh, 77 percent of the library levies passed. So uh, as usual, we get this, this mixed picture. People are willing to pay uh, as much money as they paid before or even more money if it's a service they like, and the library is very popular. And the let, other let me, thing is that people don't understand that government is what government is and where it's in their lives. There are a lot of efforts right now going on for people to try to educate people. But okay, when we're talking about government, public sector workers, um, we're talking about your trash pickup and, and the guy who waters the plants on Main Street, and we're talking about firefighters, police, teachers, and so. Well, you know, the truth is, despite some high profile failures, particularly here in this part of the state, Hilliard, Westerville, and so forth, state, statewide, just over half of all the school levies passed, which is about the same percentage as in 2010. But as Bill, Bill mentioned, it was the renewals that did much, much, much better than the new money. But the point I'm trying to make is that if people are losing patience with having levies on the school levies on the ballot year after year after year after year, it's because the politicians are failing to do their job. The Supreme Court of this state has told our legislature and the politicians four separate times that our school funding system is unconstitutional. Why? Because of the over-reliance on the property tax. They still have not fixed the problem, and not only that, this year they cut the schools even more, which has exacerbated right. the problem. So how about the politicians do their job and stop the over-reliance on the property tax? Bob Clegg. But the separation that the Supreme Court found between the affluent yes. districts and the less affluent districts. Here, we had affluent districts. Sure. Dublin, for instance, yes. whacked their levy. Yeah. I think it was the taxpayers saying, you're going to have to work with what you got. We're not going to give you any more. We're tapped out. We're not going to give you any more money. And I think so many people view, whether rightly or wrongly, that public schools are not spending their money wisely. We have a lot of people, especially in urban areas, going to charter schools. We have the voucher program with a lot of kids now going to private schools. And I think there's th the, the public school system is not got that positive image that people, that taxpayers think they're getting their money's worth. How about just turnout? This was a huge turnout for an off-year election, the largest in 20 years. 75 years, according to the uh, dispatch. This 75 week. years, even. Tax issues don't do well when there are large <laughs> turnouts. Usually, if you've got to pass a tax issue, you want to keep the turnout low, get your folks to the polls, keep the other folks ambivalent who are anti-tax. Is it just simply we had a big turnout and more anti-tax people said, no, we're not going to pay more? Well, we did have, and we saw on the issue three, which was the health care issue, that that passed actually even with a higher margin yeah. uh, than did Senate Bill 5, or fail. Mm -hmm. And so I think that, yes, you saw that Tea Party uh, mobilization going on here, and that played a role in it as well. Okay.